Now, what am I supposed to do with this right here? What up, squad? It's your main man, Rally Rails, back again with another video. You see behind me, we got the Charger 392 Daytona. And uh, I'm gonna do a quick video on something that I gotta take care of that the dealership forgot to do. So we can go ahead and get it done real quick. It shouldn't take too long. So uh, let's get to it. But first, make sure you click that subscribe button down below, hit that notification bell and smash that like icon so we can get this video trending through YouTube for all of our Mopar family um, because this is pretty much Mopar specific. Um, but anybody else out there, you know what I mean? Let's get it out there to them so they can you know, know what to do in this situation. All right, so what we're gonna do is we are gonna take off these banana peels. That's what I'm gonna call it, a banana peel. Now, if you look closely on it, I'm not sure if y'all can see it, but it says to be removed by the dealer. Um, so I don't know why the dealership didn't remove it. I've seen the other uh, charges and challenges riding with them on. I thought they were supposed to stay on there. And something just told me to look at it one day. So I looked at it and I was like, to be removed. You know what I mean? So I did my research on it and evidently uh, these are just to protect the uh, front bumper while the car is in transit or whatever going to the dealership. So we're going to get down there. We're going to take it off. If you look up under, you'll see that there are a couple push pins. So it should be real simple to just pop these off. When I... Um when I first did my research, I'm um, seeing a lot of people talking about that, you know, they left them on for a long time and, you know, their paint was getting messed up on their bumper down there. So I just got this uh, last Monday. So hopefully I don't have any damage out there. But if I do, of course, you know, I'm taking it back to the dealer so they can do what they need to do because they didn't take them off. So um, let's go ahead and get to work, make it happen. All right, so typically you want to have a flathead screwdriver, but seeing as how I misplaced mine, um, I got my trusty button knife. If you never use the button knife as a flathead, we can't be friends today. So um, let me get up under here, see if I can pop these push pins real quick. And get this off of here. I said it shouldn't be too hard. Not at all. Here's one. And here's the second one. So let's hope that there is no damage to the paint or the bumper. Now I see some dirt and whatnot, but hopefully it doesn't damage the paint. So let me see if I can get a wipe that off real quick. Okay, there's still a line. I'm not sure now that wiped off with my thumb. Thumb came across it, so um, I'm pretty sure if I, I got the best trick for it. <laughs> This is the best stuff in the game right here. This is Black Diamond Detailer by La Monster Garage. My trusty go-to. So anytime anything is on your car, you can use it. That bug off while we get it. Let me put some on there real quick. I don't see any damage underneath either. So yeah, y'all see how that bug just wiped right off. That's that stuff from La Monster Garage. So I do see a line. I'm not sure if it's not nah, white right off. It's coming right off. So not that bad because I can't feel it. So it it can be white right on off. So we are good to go on that one. So let's get this next side done over here. All right, so I got my trusty flathead, AKA butter knife. Let me get up under here. Let's see if we can pop this first one. That one, this one. And it's not bad over here. Hopefully that stuff just wiped right off. Let's see. Yes, it does. Of course, we got that line. A little thumb action, see if that come off. And when it don't, you gotta go to the good stuff. Yep. 
up. And we are good to go. Mm, get that bug up there. I'll be down here. You know, if y'all go ahead, if you go ahead and get the bugs off before they settle in too far, you know what I mean, it won't be that bad. So, like I said, I know this isn't in the paint, so I'm pretty sure I can end up, uh, yeah. Next time I wash it, I'll really get down there and clean it off. But it looks good to go. Got those banana peels off. And we should be set. So I think it looks a lot better. A lot cleaner now. You know, just strictly black and white now. And uh, like I'm gonna show you, you now I've seen some people paint these and put them back on, but I'm not gonna put it on because I already saw that it was collecting dirt inside my bumper, so I don't want that. But I wanted to show y'all even closer. So for the dealers out there, please remove these from all charges and challenges because it says um, to be removed by dealer. So just for the transport, they'll take them off once you get them to your dealership. So uh, I'm not gonna do anything with these, probably just throw them in the corner. If anybody want them, hit me up and shoot, I'll send them to you. Um, like I said, I've seen some people plastic dip them and stuff like that, but I, I'm not gonna do it. I like the way it looks without it. It's a lot cleaner look. I will put a splitter down there um, eventually, but uh, not this mess right here. Not gonna do it. You know what I mean? Why? You know what I'm saying? Like, just doesn't do it for me. So, uh, you know what I mean? We good right now. So that was a quick, quick uh, modification, not even a modification, just me doing something that the dealership should have done before I brought the car home. Um, you know, I ain't gonna really hold them against them. You know, gave me a reason to do another video, but um, for any dealers out there, or if you're going to buy one from the dealer, make sure you tell them to take those off. Um, because the longer you draw, drive around with it, the more dirt that collects in there and the more chance you got to scratch up your paint. Um, so make sure you take them off ASAP. So it's your man, Ready Rails. First of all, before I go there, make sure you hit that subscribe button. You know what I mean? Hit that subscribe, hit that like, and hit that share so we can get this channel out there because it's always, we can't keep it a secret, you dig? So it's your man, Ready Rails. Always solid, always 100, always 100, always solid. I'm up out of here.